As you're with us tonight for Local 4 News at 11, Samantha Mullins was thrown from a pickup truck while on I-94 in Macomb County. Her friend is charged with drunk driving, causing her death. Our Jamat Terry talked to the young girl's parents who have a clear message for the woman behind bars. He's live in Roseville where the vigil was held. Jamat. Kimberly, very heavy hearts here tonight at Memorial Park. You have to remember that these were three friends enjoying a night out, a night which altered three families. And now the family who lost their daughter offers special words to that one friend sitting behind bars. A chilly spring night could not keep this crowd from gathering. Sam, we love you. Family and friends of Samantha Mullins comfort one another as they come to terms with the life taken away during the crash on I-94 and Shook in Macomb County. Beautiful young girl, just had a lot going for herself. Mullins was the front passenger in this truck. The investigation reveals she started to fight with a friend in the back seat. That fight caused the driver, Sierra Abbott, to crash killing Mullins. Investigators say Abbott was also drunk. They're kids that was doing the wrong thing, and it was all three of them. It wasn't just one, but unfortunately, I'm the one that lost my daughter. And while the pain is visible from the hugs and tears, Mullen's mother insists everyone loses here. I'm sorry, Sierra. I'm sorry to Sierra's family. I am. I'm sorry. This isn't anybody's fault. It's not. It's nobody's fault. On this night, her parents are provided some comfort when they look at little Ava. She's the one and a half year old Mullins left behind. And she looks like her mama is <laughs> Papa. <laughs> so. And from this crowd, it's clear Samantha was loved in her short time on earth. We love you, Sam. We love you, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> A very emotional vigil out here tonight. Now, the family stresses that they do not condone the finger pointing that's been spewing along many social networks. They say that they're focusing tonight on trying to find some answers to a little girl who keeps asking when mom is coming home. Reporting live in Roseville tonight, mm -hmm. Jermont Terry, Local 4. Now, Jermont, the driver was only 20 years old, so underage, but already she's been charged with her second DUI. Did her parents speak about that aspect of the crash? Uh, they did, Kimberly, very briefly. He said that, you know, that's her business, speaking about Sierra Abbott's, but he just says he doesn't really want this young lady to spend all these years in prison, even though she had the second DUI. They're just really focusing on the friendship that these three people had. Yeah. All right, Jermont, thanks.